Hello everyone, this is Jignesh Jariwala. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, Flow Solver 6.6 .6 in Thinking Particles Drop 6. So we are going to make this uh, strawberry fall into container and uh, create splashes. So we have two objects inside the scene, cylinder 1 and cylinder 2. So cylinder 1 is just a normal cylinder with uh, push modifier applied and cylinder 2 is uh, the cylinder object with edit poly applied like this and cell modifier. So this first cylinder which has push modifier applied so it doesn't uh, touch with this uh, surface of cylinder okay so I will save this and call this start 01 okay And we have this strawberry object and I have standard material applied and renderer is set to scanline renderer. You can download this strawberry object from this corona using SSS to set strawberries tutorial and there is a link to scene file. Okay. So I will provide this uh, start scene. Okay. So let's set this cylinder back to display as box right click on it object properties set to display as box ok so let's start creating thinking particles and we turn off edit on the fly we put uh, display to dots and we will use half frame subsampling for fluid it is required at least per half frame subsampling and I will set uh, frame rate to per FPS and turn off real time set the end time to 1000 for now ok so I will create group let's call this strawberry Splashes, splash. Then we create strawberry group because we need to import strawberry. Uh, let's color it something like radius. And we create fluid group, or you can call it milk, whatever you want to call it. And we set its color to blue, which is generally for the fluid. Okay, we call this dynamic set strawberry class and we create one more dynamic set we call it cas so in case if want if we want to alter the time for the recorded cas we can use uh, this strawberry splash subset and create helper call time base and control the time factor so I will remove this for now so inside case we create dynamic set you can call it import or whatever you want ok we will create object to particle operator and let's select this strawberry object set it to strawberry there is no animation applied to strawberry so we can keep this object to particle turned off and click on instant save ok so as you can see uh, if you select thinking particles you can see the strawberry object is already inside
thinking particle says I hide this original strawberry object okay and we need to create particle inside this container cylinder right so we need to create helper node select this cylinder we need to create volume position connect it to node and we need to create particles so we will use position bond connect position to this and set this to fluid pistol sort let's set it one lap for now okay so you can see the particles instantly inside this container and we will use uh, raster value in volume position so like 1 0.5 1 10 ok use raster 5 2 1 so particles will be spaced equally and it will help to set down the particles very nicely okay so before we start settling down particles in this container let's uh, start with flow solver and how it works inside thinking particles okay so let's create another dynamic set and we turn it off this dynamic set okay so we will use this cylinder object as our container and as a collision object and we will fill this with some fluid so let's create a uh, emitter with plane object all right like this okay and make it face down towards container like this and we right click and select back face curl so its face is facing down the container like this all right let's go to wireframe view and see here so we need to bring this uh, emitter inside thinking particles so let's create node select this plane object and we need to emit particles from the surface of the plane object so we will use surface position connect it to node and we use position bone connect uh, position to surface position and we set this to fluid particles per second set it to something like 5000 all right lifespan to 5000 infinite set the speed to 40 and let's say in viewpoint and you can see particles are going upward in up direction so and there is variation angle set to 45 degrees let's set it to zero okay so as you can see right now it's emitting from the vertex of the plane so we need to set it to face all right and i have added on the fly it turned off so i can see that in this instantly okay and i'm using low particle counts so there will not be any crash okay so we need to emit particles from perpendicular to this plane so we will expose uh, direction and connect this normal to direction as you can see now it emits perpendicular to the plane 
okay now now let's uh, introduce some gravity so we select this fluid force apply dynamic force gravity like minus 100 all right so right now it's just uh, emitting particles and we haven't assigned any fluid property to, uh, to the particles so let's create flow group nodes now so first we will create flow group operator from the flow flow group second we will create flow boundary uh, which is needed for the collision with uh, cylinder object cylinder object which is container and second third we will need flow solver all right to solve the fluid okay so for the flow group i will select flow solver and flow solver operator uh, must go below this flow group and flow boundary operator to have its effect so it must be at the bottom of the stack okay so by default uh, now flow group uh, type is set to 6.6 .6. Previously it was 6.4, 6.3 and SPH1 which is very first flow solver. Okay, so we'll start with uh, 6.0 for now. Alright, and select the flow boundary. Uh, this uh, cylinder object. And let's play now. So we need to assign uh, group for the fluid. So we'll select this fluid and you can see it turns into pink. So that says uh, pressure is very high. Okay. And let's see if mass value affects behavior. No it doesn't. But this mass value it affects uh, behavior of the fluid in new flow solver 6.6. .6. So we need to adjust the radius as you can see it's very big so let's reduce radius to 1, 2 so we see neutral color with particles like bluish which is this color if I said green I will see green keep it blue alright as you can see as it collides it turns pink here that means there is not enough pressure so we can increase decompress value to something like 100 and that will be very big for this flow solver but uh, as you can see it starts to fill up this container very fast and you can increase subsample value to 1 or 2 So there will be less chaos so you can see this fills up container very fast and we are using just default old flow solver all right so I will not use this to SPS2 and SPS V6.4 now let's start with 6.6 .6. So I will set the solver back to 6.6 .6 and play again. So, so it, it is uh, very calm and it creates very nice uh, fluid surface and collision and splashes as you can see not very chaotic and it creates nice splashes and it starts to fill up the container and keep in mind we have subsample set to 2 and we are using just the half 
सब सैम्पल पर फ्रेम हाफ फ्रेम फॉर सब सैम्पलिंग यू डोंट नीड टू इंक्रीज इट लाइक फोर टाइम्स हंड्रेड और थ्री टाइम्स सेवेंटी फाइव सब सैम्पल इट विल जस्ट इंक्रीज सिम्यूलेशन टाइम आई विल कीप द पर हाफ फ्रेम एंड यू नीड टू इंक्रीज दिस सब सैम्पल ओनली इफ यू यूज दी कॉम्प्रेस वैल्यू मोर देन लाइक हंड्रेड लाइक फोर हंड्रेड वैल्यू देन यू नीड सब सैम्पल लाइक वन और टू दिस वे इट विल नॉट बी वेरी केयोटिक और इफ यू सेट सब सैम्पल टू जीरो you can see it goes all chaotic like this so you can increase one or two sub sample value so this decompress value doesn't explode much okay so for now we are using default uh, one value for the mass and it is too heavy for the fluid and you can see simulation is very fast so for general purpose it works nicely okay but uh, uh generally you should use like 0.02 or 0.01 mass value for the fluid because you don't want very heavy fluid because if i use one mass value and there are like 5000 particles then mass value will be like 5000 for entire volume we don't want that so set the mass value to 0.02 okay so as i set the mass value you can see it turns into y so there isn't enough radius so we need to increase the radius to something more 5 10 8 10 yeah 10 but as you can see it becomes very slow now okay so let's come to density value so if you increase density value like 100 simulation will become very slow and 10 it is very slow now new flow solver 6.6 it allows you to use uh, low density value like 1 or 0.05 all right so let's uh, go with one now and see okay we need to decrease the radius to 2 3 4 4 like 3.5 and you can see now it works it is slow simulation but it works you can still decrease the radius value to something like 0.05 and decrease the smoothing radius one so now it's very fast and you can see it okay and let's increase tension value to 2 or 5 and as you increase you start to see the clumps and the uh, surface is not very smooth and it's more of uh, drops now that means our density value is very low so we need to increase density value to something like 0.5 and then we need to increase radius value 2.5 2.5 and you can see nice stream of the fluid and it starts to fill up keep in mind that uh, we are using high decompress value so it fill up very uh, fast and it creates this stacking much better and we are using flow solver value to sub sample value to 2 because we want stabilize fluid we want stability in our simulation all right 
so if I will reduce this decompress to something like 10 you will start to see pink particles that we do not want we want to keep the equalized pressure between fluid so 400 will work better so this new flow solver 6.6 .6, uh, it allows you to use uh, low density value and create fast simulation so if you go for mass value like 1 then you can use more density like 10 or 100 like that set the radius to high 5 3 4 this will be more smooth and very slow so suggested value is for mass is 0 0.02 or 0 0.01 okay and radius value is 0.51 or 0.05 so for the smooth looking fluid you can start with 0.5 or 1 okay and 2.5 smoothing radius okay it works and there is this pressure compress setting by default it is set to 1 for more calm surface you can set it to 3 and it will be more calm surface for the fluid if you set it to like uh, 0.5 you will see more chaos in the fluid let's set it to 0.1 as you can see these particles are starting to bounce off so by default one value works well we are creating waterfall or something like that you can decrease this pressure compress value and we have string viscosity and this viscosity setting okay uh, i will be just right back in few minutes okay Okay, I'm back here so we are talking about viscosity setting if I increase viscosity we will have very thick fluid as you can see and uh, it will be more of like uh, honey and for water like fluid it is suggested 0.1 and if you increase string viscosity like 0.5 it will create more stringiness to fluid as you can see here this stringiness if I set it back to zero we have this drop like if I set it to 0.5 we will have more stringiness which we see in fluid like uh, milk alright so more stringiness here then it turns into a drop because we have surface tension set to 5 which uh, keeps these particles together and creates tension between them we have this pressure push there isn't much of the use for now it will create more between particles and push them 
as you can see this drop becomes bigger and this flash becomes bigger so I'll keep it zero for now okay it is more useful for viscoelastic viscoelastic so we don't we are not going to use this and we have this force compensation so if I set it like 5 and there will be a little more stacking between fluid let's start set it like 30 as you can see and that's very interesting <laughs> set it like 5 so it creates more stacking between uh, fluid and it will rise a little more I generally don't use it either damping value it will slow down the fluid let's try 50 as you can see it slow downs the fluid uh, we set it to 0 back there is the acceleration limit let's set it to 100 so let's see the speed of our fluid turn off this low throw in for tool tip click on this as we click on velocity so we have 75 77 all right so let's set this acceleration to very less like one and see as you can see it creates uh, pink particles here it means it slow down I mean slows down the acceleration for the fluid let's add it 200 and we don't see the pink particles and there is boundary bounce I will set it to 0.5 so it will create bounce with collider object Add it to point eight. As you can see, more splashes here. Set it to one. So it bounces off more, as you can see here, like this splashes you see here. So it's good to create splashes like that. Alright, I will not use it. You can try adhesion value, which will try to stick the particles with uh, surface of the uh, collider. It is not much useful in this case, but if you have something like sphere, for example like this and we add it to flow boundary in this sphere and now play and if we turn on add adhesion value to very high as you can see it start to attract towards sphere as you can see here you can also use friction value to slow down the fluid something like 0.5 and you can see how it uh, travels through sphere and also on the uh, cylindrical container 
due to friction fluid try to stick with the uh, uh, I mean it doesn't move much as you can see and you can see the fluid travels a lot over sphere it tries to cover the sphere and it creates this nice dripping off effect okay all right so that's enough walk through and uh, let's default it out to zero all these three value and we will start with this filling up uh, container let's turn this to this place box and we start to fill up this container now and turn it to fluid all right so let's uh, turn off this dynamic set all right and hide this plane object i will save as this again as two so you can have this emitter as well and you can play around if you want okay so as we, you can see if we turn on this dynamic set and we have already assigned flow group to the fluid and particles are 1 lakh and for 1 lakh uh, this radius is very big if I reduce 1.5 1, 1.1, 1.2 you can see it creates neutral blue color and we want equalized pressure ok and if I will play now it will try to settle down in the container but as we said this lifespan very low it disappears very fast let's increase it and variation angle to 0 ok mass value is very high we set it to 0.02 ok so now we need to increase radius again 3 4 we want uh, equalized blue color we don't want uh, very light blue either or very pink color either so let's try something like in between 3.5 and if I play now so it tries to settle down inside the container let's see from the front view so we are using very low particles count for now and as I run the timeline you can see it tries to settle down ok so gravity value is very high hundred which we need to reduce it to like minus 20 for minus 10 for minus 90.81 for now okay and uh, there is this initial state operator which will help us to settle down this fluid inside this container okay I don't know why it's rising very up so let's see we have speed assigned 10 value we need, need 0 ok so and 
and in flow group let's reduce tension back to 2 all right acceleration to 50 100 for now So it tries to settle down the particle. So when settling down particles, uh, this 0.5 density value is too high. At least for my test, I will lower it to 0.05. And we are using just 7,000 particles now. Okay. We probably need more particles. so now it fills up very nicely as you can see here with 0.05 density and it is very fast and it settles down very fast so it is suggested value for settling down the fluid okay so let's click on show info tool and click on velocity and you can see velocity shows 0.3 so it is almost near to zero and we need to save these particles as initial state so in drop 6 uh, there is a new operator called inside generator initial state let's go back to frame 0 and click on initial state what it does we need to specify uh, which particle groups we want to set uh, save the initial state so we want fluid particles and we want to save its initial state and we can choose select a record file and there is a save mode option so if you have turned on this save mode and you click on save state it will state uh, uh, particles uh, state at that particular frame ok so select a record file alright and flow solver tutorial alright I will create new folder in it ok and we call this fluid in it ok and it will uh, use new tpc uh, file type ok and we will connect this in save mode to on node of the position bond so whenever this save mode is on it will turn on this position bond operator ok so let's play now we are using low gravity value because we want uh, splash to go higher when this strawberry collides with fluid particles alright so after a few frames as you can see here I can pause the simulation now and click on save state okay so it will create state file uh, for that particular particle and if I turn off go back to frame 0 and turn off this save mode I will have initial state of that fluid I mean that uh, state of state at that particular frame so as you can see fluid is now in settle mode if I play again there is less movement in the fluid okay so now we want this uh, strawberry to fall down in the container okay 
so let's turn off this initial state for now so it will remove the particles from the container and we also need to assign mass value to this initial state operator otherwise by default it will use one value for the mass so let's assign it to 0.02 which we use for this position bond okay so let's go back to our strawberry let's move it little up here okay and we need to assign mass value for the strawberry let's assign it like 15 okay and we need also gravity for the strawberry so create strawberry here assign false all right assign it like minus 40 maybe okay it falls down all right let's give some velocity to strawberry okay we want uh, let's assign like 50 and in negative direction okay now it moves little more faster okay and we want collision with this uh, cylinder container all right which is our container vessel so we need to create bullet physics now so it must go below this uh, flow solver so you can also create new dynamic set and set this flow solver inside that dynamic set okay and create bullet physics all right and it must go below this flow solver okay and for the help uh, flow node we will choose uh, this cylinder object and assign as floor mode and floor shape we will set to mass friction 2.8 something like margin 2.1 uh, ERP we will set it like 0.05 and strawberry pass through it because we haven't assigned group here and no rigid body property to strawberry yet so let's go to object to particle and let's create BT rigid body object uh, operator and we assign to strawberry set it to bullet physics mesh type to I will set to sphere okay we don't need uh, very accuracy here set the friction 2.8 rolling friction 2.2 something like that okay so strawberry moves little bit like that that's fine we want that okay yeah that's good all right so we have uh, our strawberry setup let's turn back on this initial state and inside flow boundary let's add our strawberry uh, we cannot add strawberry object like this because it's uh, thinking particles here so we need to create new flow boundary all right and remove this one and set the group to strawberry and let's play so as you can see it creates flash but it's not much and with all purpose field we can create much nicer collision so we will use that so let's start with all purpose field now 
and we can delete this flow boundary object or disable it which is strawberry group well let's uh, disable it for now okay so let's create new dynamic set okay i will save as again and call this three okay so let's turn off this initial state for now and here we need to create all purpose field operator and as you can see it finds inside a field and there are seven operators for all purpose field we will need a field for create all purpose field initiator to initiate the field and output to output uh, a field to particular particles group okay so let's uh, we want uh, to convert this strawberry to all purpose field as a boundary object for our fluid okay so it will create voxelize uh, boundary object for fluid and it will create voxelized colli uh, collision for fluid uh, like uh, VDB so select strawberry group in this dynamic set set uh, a field we set uh, all purpose field connect particle to the strawberry and we will choose type to safe distance alright and we have two options reset is set to simulation start and sub sample if your object is deforming constantly over the time frame then you need to choose sub sample to evaluate all purpose field on each frame we need to evaluate only at start for the strawberry object because it's not deforming so we will keep it simulation start by uh, default okay and if you click on cell position to visualize APF so you don't see anything for now because we haven't initiated uh, AF field yet so we need AF field initiator we connect the field to strawberry okay we choose a field which is this a field and type we will use safe distance because we want to use uh, boundary so as soon as I click on safe distance and if I click on APF so I have cell position turned on and this box appears and you can see this dot appears which shows uh, voxel of the strawberry so we need to control these uh, dimension and cells for dimension for a field you can uh, change any parameter for this one you can either lower this to 20 10 or you can increase cells for dimension whatever the way you want okay so i will set this to 1 reduce dimension to 1 0 0.5 0 0.2 and you can see uh, there is enough cell but uh, you see there is a big gap between this uh, strawberry and this uh, a field visualization cell visualization that's because in initiator we have margin exterior margin interior and margin exterior if i reduce margin exterior to one now you can see it goes more near to uh, strawberry object so it's kind of gap uh, collision gap i mean for the collision so i will reduce it like uh, 0.5 maybe yeah that looks nice 
and you can also visualize boundary outside which shows like this or light you can try point 0.2 maybe point 0.3 let's keep it point 0.5 point 0.4 point 0.5 all right now we need to visualize uh, margin interior okay and let's set it point 0.5 as well for now same value as margin exterior so i will set uh, boundary inside and you can see if i turn off so mass you can see these rays pointing inside of the strawberry so you can see it creates hollow here so which is very nice we want it more of like a solid inside the strawberry all right so we will increase the interior value to one so as you can see this uh, blue race increase as well i'll try five so it goes all the way inside strawberry three four five six so five is maximum i can keep 10 or something like that higher value so it fills up fills out the uh, entire inside of the strawberry so it creates the solid voxel all right that's what we want when our strawberry collides with the fluid so this is very important you set this margin interior and exterior value and if i set the apf so back to cell position and turn on so mass you can see the visualization of the all-purpose field so let's set it back to none all right okay so we have our app field uh, initiated created but we need to uh, make this a field talk to fluid so for that we need uh, a field output to operator and we select this field or this particle okay so we need to select a field which is this a field you can also rename it if i call this a field dash strawberry so it will appear as a field strawberry and we need to output to which particle group we need uh, this a field talk to which particle group we want it fluid all right and out to force no we want it boundary we want to use as collision okay and there are boundary has this option avoid inside kill inside rigid avoid inside body force spring force so we will use avoid inside so we don't want particles to uh, collide inside of this object strawberry object so we want to avoid inside if you use avoid outside it will collide with inside but uh, not outside so let's select avoid inside and there is rigid rigid avoid inside as well so if we want uh, fluid particles to affect the movement of the strawberry you want to use this rigid over inside for this we will use avoid inside by default okay and let's turn on initial state now and let's play now okay so it creates nice flash now as you can see here okay and if you set this margin to one it will create more of uh, high splash so generally you, you need to use uh, margin value to 0.5 or 2 or 1 something like that for two it create more of the splash now so i will use 0.5 you can also increase friction so it will create less movement in the fluid i will keep the friction to zero you can also increase air header and like 25 and there isn't much effect so i will keep it zero for now okay 
and keep the margin value to 0.5 and you can see the splash effect let's turn this back to the splash box mm, if you want to see the splash effect let's create frost object and select these thinking particles and select selected group fluid set it to zoo bridge sun reduce uh, radius value to 1.5.8 you can see as I play now it creates waves and like that alright so let's turn off this for now okay so we have very less particles we need more particles so let's turn off a field for now and uh, strawberry object for now and let's go to initial state and set it to save mode okay so it will turn on this position bone operator and we can increase the particle count but before we do that uh, let's turn off flow group operator because we have edit on the fly turned off so if we increase particle counts then this radius will be very much bigger and it will freeze the thinking particles it will calculate and it will take the time so let's turn off flow solver for now and uh, select our position bone operator set the pistol sort to 1 million particles alright and let's see the count here ok and in volume position let's set the raster size to 0.5 ok we have 55,000 let's set 2.2 okay we have 8 lakhs particles let's set it 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.25 so we will use uh, 400k particles and we will settle down this okay so before we turn on flow solver which is set to subsample 2 for the stability because we are using 400 decompressed value let's reduce uh, radius value to 0.2 something like that because we don't want our particle to have higher radius and explode because we are using so many so much particle counts so let's turn on flow solver ok it turns white so let's increase the radius Point three, point four. Okay, that's enough pressure. Point five. Okay, so let's try with point four five first, and we play the timeline because we want to settle down this particle and then save the state so we play the timeline okay so it will take a time a little bit more after 100 or 200 frame we will have settled particles cannot even pause this uh, recording because I am using OBS so we don't see any pink particles as you can see here because we are using 400 decompressed value if you will use like 330 or 
50 you will have pink particles that's not very nice so let this settle down you would probably want to use uh, one sub sample value to set it down faster and then when doing uh, strawberry collision simulation you can use two sub sample value again but i will use two sub sample value to settle down the particles you can even go with one million particle counts and settle it down okay i will pause here let's go to front view so as you can see these particles are falling down so after 100 or 200 frame we have nice stable simulation ok now it starts to expand again as you can see here because it's colliding with this cylinder container let's go back to perspective we need to see yeah there are still some waves let it settle down more and you can see it utilizes all the cores for the flow solver which is very nice let's let it run for 100 or 200 frames okay for the time being i will stop the simulation pause the simulation and save this state but you can uh, run for the more time and have less velocity more near to zero we have 0 0.8 0 0.7 well that's nice so i will choose save state all right go back to frame zero and turn off this save mode and we have this initial state okay so let's turn on this uh, strawberry object and let's turn on a field or like so let's see how it gets splash now let's run the simulation now again
so you can see it collides it moves particles down and it creates waves and then splash will come out just wait more it creates nice this drop splash as you can see here and we have string viscosity on so it creates this nice stringiness and you can see there is another splash coming out after colliding to the ground you can see here If I turn on this first object, I need to use less radius value. And you can see the ground splash like this. Alright. You can even try anisotropic. it will be slow it's calculating it's very slow because probably my radius value is very high for the anisotropic Let's try one point point two. Yeah, now it's getting very fast. So you can see now the splash alright I can set the camera like this ok turn this off and So probably we are using uh, very low gravity value for the fluid. We would like to have something like minus 20 or minus 40 so our splash will not rise very much. But uh, if you change this gravity value then you need to settle down the fluid again. So I will keep the force value to default minus 0.981 and I will play around with margin value here ok I will reduce it to 0.1 alright let's uh, play the simulation again and I will save as this again and call this step 4 
so we have lowered uh, margin value for APF output to it will affect the collision less and splash will not be much very high still it creates a nice flash as you can see but uh, less weight as I lower the margin As you can see, So you probably need to use uh, gravity value like 20 or 40 so this place falls down faster but uh, this value is good as well as you can see all the drop and how it looks in front view all right and you can use uh, thinking particles uh, implicit set operator as well to create the splash uh, geometry but I prefer to use frost 2.1 frost 2.1 and let's try zoom hit sun mode Enable. Let's try higher radius value. So it will create more of like an isotropic loop. Yeah, tree value. As you can see, it is uh, very heavy splash but uh, you can control it uh, with uh, little high gravity value and uh, playing around with uh, this margin value I can try even lower
so you can see it creates very calm collision with lower margin it doesn't move much article it doesn't rise up very much As you can see here, we have got nice ground shape. You can even go lower for the margin value. Okay, so we are getting nice class. you can see here and we have this strawberry moving as we did in the beginning it is set to sphere type it's falling and it's moving so it's affecting fluid motion as it moves and leave some gap here So it gives this nice flash. You can set the camera angle like this and render it out. So I hope you I hope you like this tutorial and enjoyed it very much. We haven't talked about this uh, Ricky the word inside option, but if you use this option, then you probably need to adjust the mass value for the strawberry to like 15 50 something like that lower mass value and it uh, strawberry will strawberry will bounce off the liquid <coughs> and higher mass value it will move the liquid and if you use a uh, balanced mass value then fluid will affect the strawberry movement and little bit strawberry affect the fluid movement like that so let's set this set to avoid inside yes and i will save as this as final file okay and let's set the timeline back to 100 and you can cache this dynamic set using cache record once you cache the entire simulation you can use time base operator assign it to cache time and lower the time factor to 50 percent so the strawberry movement and everything will be 50 percent slow and you can have some nice slow motion fluid simulation and you can render it out in V-Ray or Corona or if you use uh, red shift then you need to turn on these group as objects and assign material to individual group object okay so let's remove this time base and i will save this file i will remove first object because if you don't have it then you will get an error so let's uh, add uh, implicit shape operator as final touch it is very slow so I don't use it much
set it to surface 6.3 set the scale to 0.1 for now assign it to fluid particle turn off and turn on again ok we don't see in the report let's turn the scale to 0.5 1 ok we see the mesh inside report now let's turn the scale to 2 ok so we see it but I don't use this much but uh, if you would like you can use this or frost so I will remove this dynamic set and save again this so I hope you like this tutorial and it clears the doubts about the uh, flow solver and if you have questions you can always ask on Facebook group or yeah and I'll be there to answer it or Jogan, Eloy Andalus, Edwin, Mark Ovigne, Joe Scar, there are so many people Christo Valeo that can answer your questions so I hope you like this tutorial and goodbye have a nice day